Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebray. But the direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Fresnes. Has been a word. To goad Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground. The village of Martigny was destroyed, but still Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fresnes. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. Henry sent gold to his ally in men and received fresh reinforcements. It is Sita for actor who read it new for this. Henry received word that Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebray. Hildefus Buscala. Stand of Yaru Buscala. Yaru Hesum Strelbora. See the Ato Knitus Yara. Garwigan Asetna. Knitus stand and they are. 
By eliminating Robert's incoming army, Henry had thwarted his brother's attempt at strengthening the castle's defences. At the hands of Henry's army, the village of Fren was in ruins. Henry's provocations had paid off. Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle. Henry sent gold to his ally in Brittany, and in return, a detachment arrived to bolster his numbers. King Henry's tactic of luring Robert into the open had worked.
Henry captured his brother and Normandy was his. William the Conqueror's sons had resolved their long feud over Normandy, with King Henry resting possession away from his brother. But the French King Louis VI would not accept Henry's heir as the future Duke of Normandy. Henry's fragile power would face its first test, an invasion by the French King.